Mm. How are you, Henry? Okay. I need your advice. Did you find out what they did? And did you read the Black Chronicle? Mm, I didn't. Yes. I did. So tell me what you found out, and I'll see what I can come up with. Just bear in mind, I can help you work it out, but you'll only find exactly what you need in the Ratai Black Chronicle. Every executioner has his own way of doing things, and this bastard might have different methods in mind. Peter of Dorba has many murders on his soul, but he's still a nobleman. Okay, so I think this was Grizzly was talking about earlier. Um, let me take a look here. Oh, I hope it didn't go off the screen. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, this is Peter, right? His head is going to be chopped off? Okay. Um, he's for the chop, then, probably. Oh, I hope this is right. His neck is going on the block. Okay. That makes sense. His crimes are great, but he's still a nobleman. So he gets an honorable death. And then George, George Weiss. Weiss is a bloodthirsty bastard who left a trail of corpses He's behind He's going to be him. hanged. He hasn't earned an honorable death. He's for a long drop on a short rope. A murderer deserves nothing better. That makes sense. And then the last Frost guy. Herald is the worst of them all. Sent by Satan himself. The things he's done would make a demon blanch. He's to be tortured first. The executioner will take his time with that one. He'll be begging to die. If I read correctly, it'll start with ripping the flesh. Aye, could be. He deserves nothing better. So, have we got everything we need? We've covered all the possibilities. There's nothing more we can think of. What's the plan, dude? So, what's the plan then? An executioner's greatest boast is to behead with one blow. That's why an executioner's sword needs to be a splendid piece of craftsmanship and sharp as a razor. Hmm. I follow you, but how can I get to the sword? It won't be easy. The executioner's sword is one of his most valuable instruments. Hey, Gazul. Couldn't it just be switched for a different one? He'd notice straight away. It's different than a regular sword, heavier with a blunt point. The balance is different, too. I could take yours and... He'd recognize that, too. An executioner knows his sword like the back of his hand. He'd notice as soon as he picked it up. So I'll have to steal it, dull the blade, and put it back before anyone notices? Yes, that's probably the only way. That'll be interesting. Damn. And how can I dull the sword? Should I hack it a stone Use wall? a whetstone. I thought you were a blacksmith, son. Yep. It's enough to cock up the honing. That yep. will make much less noise. Okay. That'll be me. With ripping of the flesh, the bastard has to suffer, but survive as long oh, as possible. Oh, poison his implements. So, if Herald drops dead right at the start... The executioner will look like a fool. But how can I make sure it happens? I don't know. It depends on the skill of the executioner. An experienced one starts in places where there's no threat of heavy bleeding. The, the sides, the chest... And the Kuttenberg executioner is definitely experienced. No doubt. They use a kind of special tongs, and in between the ripping, the convict's wounds are treated so he can take more. Good God! Maybe the tongs could be spiked with something nasty. Hmm. And you'd know what to use? I know a little, and I might be able to get something. That would work. Good idea, Hal. Humans are brutal! What if I get the one who's supposed to dress the wounds drunk? Don't do that. It could be someone from Ratai, and even if it isn't, the blame wouldn't fall on the executioner. Cool. That'll do me. So we gotta poison the implements. What about the hanging? If the rope breaks when it's done, it's an unbelievable disgrace for the executioner. Folk see it as the will of God, and sometimes he even has to let the condemned man go. Supposing I just cut it? I doubt it would work. The executioner will check it before the hanging when he's preparing the gallows. He'd probably notice. Hmm. What about switching it? That could work. I've got an old rope here I don't use anymore. It looks fine, but it's run. It'll be perfect. 
Great. I'll use that. Man, we are evil. We are evil. That'll do me. <laughs> this is so wrong. Wow. Okay. Thanks. Whew. So do I now I do all this stuff? Mm hmm. Okay. Do I actually have a waypoint for all this stuff? Oh. Interesting. So he's a little bit off the beaten path. Okay, let's go down here first. Because uh, actually, we need to go to the alchemy place first. Because I think I'm going to need to make some poison. And uh, then we'll have to switch some stuff and go steal the sword. Do we have any poison right now? Oh, we do. We have poison. Perfect. Okay, well, we'll use that then. Great. Um, let's go wash off real quick, because I think we're super dirty. Yeah. Also, do, do we need to repair this stuff? Ugh. Okay, well that hood's kind of ass, but that's, a fun, that's okay. Henry, I'm glad you Baked goods, fresh from the oven. Come get them. Okay. Everything for one. We'll save at the end over here. Can I ask why we're saving these criminals? Oh, we're not. They're going to die. Um, all, all these guys are going to die. It's just we're, what we're doing is we're sabotaging the executions. So um, the only one that's somewhat questionable is if the rope breaks on the hanging. They sometimes think that's a will of God. But the, the baby guy, we're going to kill him actually quicker. And the guy that's losing his head, we're just going to make it so it takes a few more few more wax so yeah it, we're, we're not saving anyone with this no one's getting saved <laughs> Michaelis is fast traveling like 30 seconds away you're a lazy old man hey I don't have a lot of time okay I gotta save everywhere I can god you damn kids these days <sighs> Keats. I'm getting my stratus Okay. Let's go see what we're dealing with. Is he in that house? Maybe. <laughs> Get off my drawbridge! That's right. That's exactly right. Thanks, Dr. Hacks. Appreciate it, man. Old man emote is amazing. Good job to whoever made it. Oh, that was Julia. That was the ever-present, always amazing Julia. Executioner's henchman. Hey. We're gonna have to wait until night, I think. How are my stats right now? 1925? Uh, that should be okay. We should be able to work with this. Uh, okay. Oh, Grizzlywood. That's a cool idea. Very cool. Mr. Sam with the new Prime sub, Swifty Jack, Terrandoff. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for that and the kind message. Also, thank you, Axel Sweden, uh, Milky Joe. Good luck in your interview, buddy. Uh, Nacreous Cloud and Regent48 with the 100 cheer. Thanks for the support, guys. Thank you, thank you. How close am I to finishing P5? Um, a few more streams. A few more streams. As long as I keep doing three or four hour streams. 
And we're going to save it. Let's do this. And this. Bada boom. Beautiful. Pretty cool. Uh, no. It's the first time we've used that. I like it. Sabotage. It'll never hold the weight of a grown man. Great. Okay, so that rope was just laying out in the open, which means the sword and the tongs probably are too. I just need to visually find them. So... I noticed that this is an executioner's henchman over here. So maybe we have to go find the actual executioner. Maybe he's in a tent. There he is. Okay. There it is. We'll take that. Now, still no sight of these tongs. By the fire? What are you doing there? Oh, hi. Sorry, I was just leaving. Um. Hmm. What was that? Is it in the carriage? Maybe. Oh, sabotage. For anyone with this, the lucky God, fellow will die quick. Oh. Come on! Bomber. Okay, we're gonna load it. Damn! Okay, so we're gonna. Did that guy wake up? Um. I feel like that guy woke up at some point. Was he here the whole. I don't think he was there the whole time. Let me, let me take a look here. Maybe we can do that first. If you try for anyone with this, the lucky fellow will die quickly. Great. Never hold the weight of a grown man.
Feuer. Now to blunt it. All right, we're out of here. Okay, uh, let's go find a whetstone in town. I think there's one at the blacksmith right on the other side of the right entrance coming down this road. So we'll look at that one. I saw a streamer the other day who was taking $10 tips or 1,000 bits and allowing them to choose anyone in chat to time out for 10 minutes. A, like pay to time out system that's that that's an that's something that's a thing I guess that's I have not heard of that before <laughs> sounds like someone who doesn't really like their community <laughs> Here we go. So we have to turn the blade like this, right? This is how we grind, and then like this, and then apply as much pressure as possible. Okay, great. Just to jam that thing right in there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how you grind, girl. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. There we go. Now to get it back to the executioner. You've reached a new level in maintenance. Good day, Henry. Wait, what are you doing? Only bandits creep around in the oh, dark without right. a light. Where's your torch? There you go. We good. We good. I got my torch out. We good. She. Good. Yeah, and I got a new level in maintenance for that. I know, right? <laughs> it's pretty good. Hey, Henry's come to see us. You guys aren't mad at me, are you? Okay, good. I'm probably going to save it when I come up here. No Nighthawk potion? We have a Nighthawk potion on, bud. Oh shit. Oh shit, they saw me. Wow, look at that. I wonder I wonder how they saw me. Did he hear me open the Uh-oh. Oh, maybe I have to wait for the crouching chameleon perk to activate. Maybe that was my issue. Yeah, good thing I saved, right? There's Crouching Chameleon. Came with this. Hey, what's up, bud? How you doing tonight? Looking great, huh? Man, beautiful stars, huh? Wow, what a night. Just gorgeous. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's go see if we can talk to Herman. This quest was some work, man. We already got Herman a wife and now we're saving his job. My lord. 
We're a bro and a half. Uh, sure, surrender. That's fine. What's going on? For security reasons. For God's sake, don't bother me. Any delay could cost lives. Well, if that's the way it is, go ahead then. You can't just walk around in the dark. Cool, we'll take it. Boop. That's right, Cluthulu. Well said. That's a, that's that's exactly right. Garb without a torch telling you to take out a torch? Eh, life isn't fair. What can we say, huh? What can we say? Who watches the watchman? Apparently not us, because we can't see shit, because we don't have a torch out. Percent this game? No. Nope. Too big. Too big. Not enough time. There's a lot of game. My 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 wanting to play games list is quickly growing. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm definitely starting to uh oh shit. to feel that itch. All right, let's wait until morning, because we're almost there anyway. Wait until, like, 8. <sighs> Will I at least finish the main story? Yes, I'm planning on finishing the main story. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the next game? Well, we're playing Persona 5 and finishing that up, and after that, we're starting a game called Yakuza, and I might play some morning streams of Yakuza. Uh, I also have a game called Abandoned Ship I want to look at. There's a game coming out soon called Into the Breach from the makers of FTL that I'm looking at. Um, there's there's lots of games that are like, I want to check out Slay the Spire. I never got a chance to look at that. I still want to play uh, Hollow Knight. We've got the Dark Souls Remastered coming out. We've got our Dark Souls 3 speedrun shortly after that. We got, we got a lot. We got a lot. Yeah, I'm very excited for Yakuza. We may or may not have some very, uh, very fun emotes coming for Yakuza. Don't tell anyone. About the executions. Is it done? Can I let them get on with the executions now? Yes. Now all we have to do is go and enjoy the show. Go and watch the executions? Oh my god, this is happening. This is happening. I'm gonna save it. Yep, yeah, Pillars of Eternity 2. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna look at Pillars of Eternity 2. I've heard there's more more voice acting in PoE 2 than one, so uh, I may check out PoE 2. It's been a long time since I played a, a really good CRPG. Well, you know, after DOS 2, but we'll probably take a look at Pillars of Eternity 2 as well. Uh, I'm guessing we have to wait a bit. Let's hang out like here and wait like an hour. Oh, I'm talking about uh, 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 Pillars of Eternity 2. I'm sorry. Did I say Path of Exile 2? I meant Pillars of Eternity 2. Yeah. And we also have our Planescape Torment and our Canaan playthroughs to do at some point as well. So much to do. Uh... Okay, I guess we gotta keep waiting. We may have to wait like a day for this, as some people in chat are saying. Oh, next day at 2 p.m. Oh my, okay. Wow. The Mad Fedora with the three months, CBK3 with the three month epic sub. Thank you for that, man. And uh, we also have uh, Lynn Tahiliel. Thank you for the one year of support, my friend. Thank you. 
Am I going to skip the next le league on PoE? No, no, I think I'm going to put some time into it. I don't know how much or how far we're going to go with it. In fact, I got to talk to Kleinix because we need to get our, uh, our voting thing together. But yeah, I'm definitely checking out the new PoE expansion. Am I going to do the Secret of Mana remake? Uh, I don't know yet. I, I hate to say it, but the Secret of Mana remake just really looks like a mobile game. I know it's not. Don't get me wrong. I know it's not. I know it's Secret of Mana. But when I look at it, it looks like an iPad game. It, it looks like something from that I would play on an iPad. Like, it's... it's I don't know, man. Um... I, don't, I just don't think I'm that interested in it. I think I'd rather play the original. If I was going to play Secret of Mana, I think I'd play the original. Because um, I have one of those SNES classic things. So, I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's wait. And people are saying until 2 the next day. So let's wait until 3 today just to make sure it's not going to happen today. And then we'll do a 24-hour wait. Don't I need to start my God of War playthrough soon? Yeah, probably. Pr relatively soon. We're going we're gonna to be starting it uh, mid-March for the release in April. Yeah. Okay, so it is a day. That's fine. I don't think I have any other big-time quests going on right now, thankfully. So... Uh, no, the way we're doing the God of War franchise run, I haven't played any God of War. So I, I still need to find, like, a, a, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Like, if I can buy, like, a bunch of remasters or how that's going to work. Or um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do the God of War franchise playthrough. We're probably going to start looking into that uh, at the end of this month, beginning of next month. So I still need to pick exactly which God of Wars we're going to play. Because apparently some of them are, like, side God of Wars. They aren't even part of the main narrative. Hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Here we go. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who redeemed me by his precious blood, have mercy on me and lead me to eternal glory. Amen. I feel like this is an Abbott and Costello thing. I feel like it should be playing like Benny Hill in the background. He's like, uses this thing, he's like... <laughs> he used his sword. <laughs> Love it. Can we execute the executioner? What a failure. What a failure! He's a phony! He's a phony! Go to Herman for your reward. Yeah, there we go. I almost want to do that again without sabotaging any of it. And just <laughs> see if it's like totally different. Now, what's really interesting is not only could we have screwed up sabotaging that, but we also very easily could have picked different execution styles for the different things. So it makes me wonder, like, how many different ways can that quest go? Huh. Porkchop Express says, you could say that was poorly executed.
Thank you for the joke of the day. I appreciate that. Thank you. From my heart to yours. That was pretty good. <laughs> we, we have a joke of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Henry! <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad you stopped by. <laughs> Did you see that? An utter disgrace. <laughs> it certainly was. The executioner couldn't hold his head high after that. True. The whole crowd was looking forward to it, and right at the start he fucked up the beheading. And then he took the tongs and... <laughs> you know it's good and when you make the executioner the laugh. the bucket right away. Jesus, how he gaped. <laughs> and then furious as a rabid dog. Furious, he grabs the last one. <laughs> and he wasn't even able to hang him. <laughs> uh, I'll be forever grateful to you, Hal. You saved my job, and you deserve a reward for it. Thank you. I just realized... Watching three men die horribly to an executioner is the same thing that happens if you tell a Windows joke to an IT guy. So, so we're sitting here hey, laughing hey, hysterically about three people potentially dying in terrible ways, and he's just sitting there like, HA HA! Good day, Henry. Man, talk about, like, work humor. <laughs> gallows humor, that's exactly right. The definition of gallows humor. Thank you. Thank you. Another good one. <laughs> oh, that was a great quest line. Man, both the last quests we've done, which were both side quests, by the way, were pretty fantastic. Oh, man. When, I, when, when we do stuff like the last two quests, it makes me so sad how many bugs are in this game. Because there, there is so clearly such potential in this game to it just be such a great game. And it makes me sad to think that people aren't going to get to those quests because of bugs and problems and crashes. and Oh, that's really unfortunate. Because there's some real gems in this game. There really are. Like, there's... there's even with all the bugs and crap, the rest of the game may be good enough to get this game in my top 10 list. Not near the top, unfortunately, because uh, I would have loved to have put it closer to the top, but yeah. yeah. It's still it's still a great game. Even, w even with all the problems and stuff, there's still, there's still enough in here that makes it worth it, which is awesome. A lot of games are so buggy that the bugs and crashes aren't worth it, but this game is worth it. It's worth to slog through the bugs and crashes. They make it worth it. And that's cool. Do, 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 do. What is my game of the year so far? Uh, too early for me to tell, to be honest. It's it's too early. I, um, I, I don't really, uh, I haven't even really started to think about my game of the year stuff yet. I really have to sit down with that because like sometimes I finish a game and I'm like, this is amazing. This is my current game of the year. I don't know if I've really had that happen yet this year. Uh -oh. I don't think it's really happened yet this year. Anyway. All right. So we've done a good amount of side questing. I think it's time to maybe do some, some main questing. So let's go ahead and get started to that first thing tomorrow. There we go. Awesome. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here today. We've made a huge amount more progress in this game. We've done main story stuff. We did side quest stuff, did some fantastic side quest stuff. And tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EST, we're going to dive right in to another full morning of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to do a main quest day. Uh, since we did like a good two plus hours of side questing today, I think we'll probably focus on the main quest tomorrow. So uh, right at the start, we're up to a good point to start the main quest, and uh, right then we'll be going from there. Robert says, what Yakuza game is co-playing soon? I'm going to be playing a game called Yakuza 0 after Persona 5. Actually, one of the reasons I'm ending now and not like in an hour or two plus is I want to get uh, some time into Persona 5 this afternoon, and uh, I don't have a babysitter, so I'm going to have to end around normal time. So if I head out and get lunch now, hopefully I will be back around... 1 p.m. EST, and uh, we'll do some Persona 5 for the rest of the afternoon. Get a, get a two and a half, three more hours into there, so we can uh, start wrapping that up. So, at the buzzer, we had Petri91 with the 32 months, Stefan Camp.